Verdi's La Traviata is one of the most performed operas worldwide. But what is it all about? Act one begins at a decadent party, which is hosted by our heroine, Violetta, the most famous courtesan in all of Paris. Side note, she also has tuberculosis. You can see where this is going. At the party is her rich lover, Baron du Folle, and a young poet named Alfredo. Alfredo finds a moment alone with Violetta to confess his secret love to her. She is tempted. He seems genuine and different from all the other men in her life. However, she eventually decides that she's better off remaining a free woman. Fast forward three months and Violetta has given in to her feelings for Alfredo. So they leave Paris and take up residency in the countryside, which of course is a picture of domestic bliss. Oh. Alfredo's father, Germain Père, turns up. Now, he's extremely anxious, extremely concerned about his son's relationship with an ex-courtesan because it's damaging the family's reputation. He finds Violetta, corners her and persuades her to leave Alfredo. Now, reluctantly, she does this. So she leaves a note and leaves for Paris. When Alfredo arrives in Paris, he arrives at a party to find Violetta with the Baron. Now this looks terrible on Violetta's part. So there's a lot of tension in the room and the Baron and Alfredo, they begin gambling and to everybody's horror, Alfredo, he throws his winnings at Violetta in payment for her services. And of course, this leaves Violetta utterly devastated. It's a few months later and things have gone seriously downhill. Violetta's illness is much worse and all of her friends have abandoned her. But Alfredo's father has come clean to his son about Violetta's sacrifice and Alfredo is on his way to beg her for forgiveness. They are reunited, but as this is a tragic opera, it's going to be too late. Violetta says she's feeling much better, but Baird is just messing with us. Moments later, she dies in Alfredo's arms. Don't forget your tissues.